<laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shirley, and I'll be graduating from Drexel with a degree in communication. I'll be staying here until September, and the rest of that is just a journey with God. Um, recently, as I was reflecting on my college career, I remembered an important promise that God had made to me, and it was His relentless pursuit. Though I did, <laughs> yeah, I'm not in that family group. Though, <laughs> okay. um, though I declared Jesus to be my savior and had no doubt in his existence since eighth grade, it took me until my first GCC college retreat to invite him to be my Lord. The last night at the retreat, I felt like God wanted to take our relationship a step further. I wrestled with God and said before committing, "Okay, but you have to promise me you won't run away from me." Right after I prayed so in my heart, I went up to receive prayer. The first thing the pastor said in his prayer for me was, "I will not run from you. I will run to you." I remember being so shocked, like you are just now, <laughs> because it would have been enough. It would have been enough if God had just listened or nodded, but He made sure that I knew and believed He was and will always be pursuing me. And His promise was sure. God's pursuit did not stop when I began to discover the depravity of my sins. In junior year, I saw that there was so much pride in me; even I could not tolerate myself, let alone love myself. Yet in those moments of brokenness and weeping, God was there to embrace me fully with grace. There are countless times when God used sisters to speak words of truth exactly at the moments I needed because I was forgetting His faithful promises. Just a few weeks ago, during FNL, God invited me to reflect. What came to mind was a flashback of my dad and I scooping fish out of the stream behind my home. I was in first grade and supposed to be at church that Sunday, but what was different in the flashback was that my dad usually waited behind me, but instead. There was someone right beside me. I looked over. It was Lord God Almighty with a kitty shovel in his hand, and squatting, squatting right beside me, despite the fact that his garment was long and white, and his face was the widest smile I had ever seen. I went fishing to skip church, yet there was God spending time with me. I don't think it's by chance that these things are coming to my mind now. I believe during this time of transition from placing one foot in the boat to both feet on the water, as Peter did, I am learning to surrender my future relationships and security. God reassures me that He has not only been with me since the very first day, but has been chasing after my heart to mold it like His. As it is said in Psalm 139, verses 9 to 10. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will uphold me fast. Thank you.